Ayodhya, the birthplace of Prabhu Sri Ram, is a great place to experience the divine energies. The divine city is situated on the banks of the holy river Saryu and is one of the most revered cities. Ayodhya is also known as Saket. It is an ancient city of India associated with the epic saga Ramayan. Ayodhya used to be the capital of the historic Kaushal kingdom of Lord Sri Ram. Recently, Ayodhya has become a topic of great interest because the most awaited temple, Ayodhya Ram Mandir, is now ready for the devotees and the world. The Ayodhya Ram Mandir was inaugurated on 22nd January 2024. The Ram Temple reflects the cultural and spiritual heritage associated with Lord Sri Ram and holds immense cultural and religious significance for the Hindus. The temple is unique in its own way and there are many amazing and interesting facts related to its creation. Let's know some relevant and important facts about Ayodhya's Ram Mandir, the facts that make the temple more glorious. Ayodhya Ram Mandir is the largest temple in India as per its design structure. The chief architect of Sri Ram Mandir is Chandrakant Sompura. Chandrakant Sompura belongs to a family of temple architects who have designed over 200 such structures across the country. The construction of this temple was handled by the Indian multinational company Larson & Tubro. The length, width and height of the temple are 380 feet, 250 feet and 161 feet respectively. The construction style of the temple is Indian Nagar style. The foundation of Ayodhya Ram Mandir includes the combination of holy soil from 2,587 regions of India and combination of holy river water from 150 rivers across India. Special bricks inscribed with Sri Ram have been used in the construction of the temple, which have been named as Ram Shilas. Ram Mandir is completely made of stones. No iron and steel has been used in the making of the temple. Instead of iron, other elements like copper, white cement and wood have been used. Prominent materials used in the construction of Ram Mandir are pink sandstone, granite stone, shaligram rock, copper plates, teak wood, gold and ashtadhatu. A time capsule has been placed almost 2000 feet below the ground right below the Ayodhya Ram Mandir temple. The sole purpose of placing a time capsule is to protect the identity of the temple so that it does not get forgotten in the future. The time capsule will hold relevant information written on a copper plate regarding Ram Mandir, Lord Ram and his birthplace Ayodhya. The three-story temple is an earthquake resistant structure. The temple has 392 pillars and 44 doors. Its doors are made of teak wood and are gold plated. The idols of the temple are made up of 60 million years old shaligram rocks which were brought from the Gandaki river Nepal. The estimated age of the temple structure is 2500 years. The main sanctum of the temple has the idol of Sri Ram Lala, the infant form of Lord Sri Ram and there is a Sri Ram Darbar on the first floor. The temple comprises of five mandapas, Nritya Mandap, Rang Mandap, Sabha Mandap, Prarthana Mandap and Kirtan Mandap. On all four corners of the periphery, four temples dedicated to Surya Dev, Mother Bhagwati, Lord Ganesh and Lord Shiva will be constructed. Within the temple complex, other temples will be dedicated to other divine personalities of Ramayan. Sri Ram Mandir stands as an architectural marvel. Along with being an indication to religious faith, it is a living testament to the spiritual heritage of India and the enduring legacy of Lord Ram. This temple will go on a long way in making Ayodhya the spiritual capital of India. There were many special gifts that had been sent for Ayodhya Ram Mandir temple. Before the consecration ceremony, the temple authorities have received numerous presents. Adding to the religious fervor, the offerings had been received from all parts of the country and even abroad. The creators of the unique presents are hoping that their gifts will be used at the Grand Temple. More than 3,000 presents for Lord Ram from Devi Sita's birthplace in Janakpur in Nepal have arrived in Ayodhya. The gifts include silver shoes, ornaments, clothes and many more. A 108-foot long incense stick which weighs 3610 kg and is almost 3.5 feet wide, has been prepared in Gujarat's Vadodara over a period of six months. According to reports, the incense stick is environmentally friendly and will last for about one and a half months, spreading its fragrance over several kilometers. A Nagadu or the temple drum has also been sent from Gujarat. 
The 56-inch Nagadu made of gold foil will be installed in the courtyard of the temple. A lock and key weighing 400 kg with 10 feet height, 4.6 feet width and 9.5 inch thickness has been prepared by a locksmith from Aligarh in Uttar Pradesh. And this is the world's largest lock and key. A bell weighing 2,100 kg has been prepared in Jalesar in Uttar Pradesh. It has been made of Ashtadhatu, an alloy of eight metals which includes gold, silver, copper, lead, zinc, tin, iron and mercury. The sound of the bell can be heard up to a distance of 15 kilometers. A Lucknow-based vegetable vendor has especially designed a clock that denotes the time in eight countries at the same time. The clock measures 75 cm in diameter. The clock denotes the time of India, Tokyo, Moscow, Dubai, Beijing, Singapore, Mexico City, Washington DC and New York. Surat city of Gujarat is a major textile hub of the country and a special sari has been prepared over there. The sari with pictures of Lord Ram and the Ayodhya temple printed on it is meant for Lord Ram's wife Sita, respectfully known as Ma Janki. A diamond merchant from Surat has made a necklace on the theme of Ram temple using 5000 American diamonds and 2 kg silver. 40 artisans completed the design in 35 days and the necklace has been gifted to the Ram Mandir Trust. A gold-plated footwear for Lord Ram has been presented by a citizen from Hyderabad, who reached Ayodhya on foot, covering a distance of nearly 8,000 kilometers. A farmer residing in Vadodara has crafted a giant lamp weighing 1,100 kg. The lamp is 9.25 feet high and 8 feet wide. It has a capacity for 851 kg of ghee. The lamp is made from panch dhatu, which includes gold, silver, copper, zinc and iron. These are some of the gifts which have been given to Ayodhya Ram Mandir in the honor of Bhagwan Sri Ram. These presents are proof that Lord Sri Ram has many devotees and admirers. Prabhu Sri Ram's life was based on certain ideals and principles. Everyone worships Prabhu Sri Ram in their own way and the devotees should definitely visit Ayodhya at least once in their life. If you found this video informative, like and share this video in the name of Prabhu Sri Ram and subscribe to Filmywood. Jai Sri Ram, Jai Siya Ram.